My name is Neil Roberts, president and founder of Point Forward Sports Group based out of Anchorage, Alaska. We did a three village tour. Um, the ASRC was, was gracious enough to, to sponsor uh, this tour for these kids. Uh, so we basically just did three, three camps uh, in these villages. We went to Kaktovik, uh, Nuiqsit, and Anatuvik Pass. You know, for these kids, you know, basketball is, you know, the number one sport out here. They take it, you know, uh, very seriously. It's like, you know, that's pretty much all they do. One of the, uh, the biggest pastimes out here. You know, as you can see, you know, a lot of the, you know, the schools, they have a lot of banners, you know, so they take pride in their basketball. We got to Kaktovik. Kaktovik was the first village that we did. Um, you know, people, you know, were right there, picked us up, man. They showed great hospitality. Uh, you know, they made us feel comfortable. We, we got in, we got right to work. Let's go, let's go, keep it out, keep it out, keep it out. Keep it out to the game. I'll tell you a little bit about myself and the people that I brought with me. Um, my name is Neil Roberts. Um, founder, uh, president of Point Forward Sports Group. You know, we're based out of Anchorage, Alaska. Mr. Sylvester Jackson from AR Foundation, Athletic Res Resources Foundation to come try to educate you guys on the importance of education, uh, mental health, you know, the benefits of mental health and, you know, um, just things in that aspect. So making sure you guys are college ready. Sports boost your self-confidence. Sports boost your self-confidence. Seven, but it's listed number seven. Sports have been linked to leadership traits. You know, the, the, the energy was a little bit different, uh, so we kind of had to put, the little, put a little extra into it to, to get them going, but once they got going, man, you know, it was hard for them to stop, man. They didn't want to leave the gym. Because you say, look, I know nobody's out here putting more work in than me. Separation, get lower, get lower, get low, let it burn. Yeah, right there, low, let it burn, let it burn. Stay on your toes, off your heels, athletic stance. Let's get our athletic stance on our toes. You know, and I think we rubbed off on them a lot, and I think we kind of left a, a good impression because those kids actually ended up in the last place that we went, and they jumped right into trainers with the other with the other school as well, so we could tell that they enjoyed it, man. And we see uh, there is some uh, budding talent out there in Kaktovic. You know, it's raw, but you know, hopefully we'll get the opportunity to go back out there more often and work with those kids, man, because we can tell that there's a couple of little kids that really have high aspirations. You know, I want to play, uh, want to get to be become the best players that they can. Sick, another another small village. It's actually a little bit bigger than than Kaktovik. Uh, you know, again, man, the kids were you know in the gym waiting for us, ready. 14 years. He started in 1929. He finished in 1943. So that lets you know he put a lot, but a lot of thought into that, right? Learned a lot, man. I, we learned a lot everywhere that we went. So we got to know about the history, you know, uh, about their people and things like that, man. So, I mean, it, we had a blast, man. The food was good. Uh, they gave us plenty of food, you know, so, uh, you know, another another fun time. Basketball I'm here for the kids is important. They'd rather play basketball than do schoolwork. We have to remind them constantly that they need to do their work if they want to play ball. What do you think about point four with basketball, Coach Neal? How has it been going for with the kids? It's been going good. I think the kids are enjoying it. My name is Kara Helm, and I'm originally from Nooksit, which are here. It's really strong. A lot of kids love to play. It's, uh, I think it's a, a tool that helps the kids become very strong. <laughs> I was a basketball player. Nice. Here in 
loved playing. It was my thing. I made sure I get my homework done after school so I can get the uh, approval to come to play. So it was something that I enjoyed and loved and a passion for. So um, nice. something I think I wish I could pick back up again. And that's why I'm here tonight helping my daughter. I used to play a lot here. So and it, it was a great motivator and a great uh, uh, skill to have that helped me in today's life. I like the training so far because he is very vocal and very loud and that's what the kids need. They need someone to catch their attention. And he did that tonight, as you can see. And he was uh, uh, just very forward, and you can tell he has a passion for it. He's got the heart because he's, you can tell how he's, he's training or he's um, uh, voicing his uh, his uh, vision of what he thinks he's possible. So I think he's very, very, loud. very, very loud, which is good. <laughs> For a pair of socks, who can tell me? You guys can answer this too. For a pair of socks, who can tell me what's Kobe Bryant's biggest attribute? I was really excited about coming to AKP because uh, I had met a couple kids from AKP back in Anchorage, man, that were pretty good players. And they told me that uh, AKP had a lot of basketball uh, history and tradition. It, it turned out to be true, man, because you know they actually brought me out of retirement. You know the the, the locals came and, and, and got us and invited us to to play. You know, and and to our surprise, man, they were there's some really good players, man. Can... I'm Jacob Aruk from Ernest Chuba Back. What good here? All of us boys uh, are committed to basketball, and I just love basketball. It takes me. It gets my mind up. And I've been playing since I was like five. I, I liked it because he taught me things I didn't know. And he made me think about my form and my other stuff I needed to learn. Okay. Point forward, I would like you for you to come back. Lillian Stone and Activic Pass. It's huge. It's the only thing for the kids to do every night during the winter time during the school year. The gym is open from 6 to 10, and so they just play basketball all the time and then we play, uh, we have, uh, what is that, high school basketball that starts, I think they could join in sixth grade and uh, basketball, the high school basketball stuff is pretty, um, it's pretty uh, exciting for the village. The ASRC was, was gracious enough to, to sponsor uh, this tour for these kids. RC and uh, various uh, native corporations, different corporations in Alaska, so they uh, they supported a lot, you know, so um, thanks to the ASRC for, for sponsoring uh, these events. Um, we're super honored, super proud, you know, to be a part of something like this. Um, we're, 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 we show tremendous gratitude uh, to you guys for, for putting this together and giving us the opportunity to share our knowledge with these kids. Um, we hope that they enjoyed it. Um, as much as we did, you know, as you can tell, like my voice is hoarse because, you know, we, we, we brought a lot of energy, you know, we, uh, we really got after it, you know, we worked hard, you know, the kids worked hard for us. Three.